Welcome back to Talk Scrum. I'm your host, Sean O'Donnell. With me tonight, at Joe Chandler. That's me. At Nicholas underscore McCann. Hell Dallas. Yeah. Dallas is busy watching movies. I, we don't know. He's, he's too busy for us. Um, I hope everyone had a good week. Uh, it's great to see you. If it's your first time here uh, on Talk Scrum, thank you for being here. If you like the show, please leave a like. Please subscribe. We're going to open some really fun packs. We're going to play Joe's favorite game, Project 70 or Nodject 70. Yes. Before we do that, we're going to do some mail. I got some mail. I got some cards. I thought we would open them on camera. I was excited. Do we reader mail? Viewer mail? Yeah. Nothing exciting like that. But if you want to, uh, I do have a P.O. box. We could put it down in the comments. You could yes. send, send us, us letters. Send us P.O. box. So first send is this. Um, we have seen the living set, Joe, I think through a Houdini box. Maybe we got like a Randy card, maybe a Bo Bichette. It's the one okay. where they're like painted. Yes. So I ordered this. They put these two out kind of as a set. I think you could order each on their own, but I was like, oh, I like both of those. I'm going to order the set. So let's check out what we got. It's very nicely wrapped by Tops and the big Tops Band-Aid. So let's love check it. out these living set Industry. cards. There's like 500 of these now. They've been doing it for a while. So we've got Mickey Mantle. Whoa. So Tops recently reacquired the rights to make Mickey Mantle cards. And I was like, wow. I'm going to get this. Because I think this is card. I don't want to spoil the other one. Uh, 407. So they've made 406 of these. And this is Whoa. the first Mantle. So I like cool. these. I, I only own a couple of them, but I think they're kind of cool. Yeah. Good that throwback. Kind of and then, uh, you know, Mickey Mantle. I mean, next to Mickey Mantle, the closest thing you've got is Joey Bart. So I got the Joey Bart <laughs> <laughs> rookie leaving set. Hey, he may not be Mickey Mantle, but he is hitting over 300 in uh, AAA, Joe. Joey Bart. Really? That's exciting. When's he coming up? Um, whenever Buster Posey's body gives out. Yeah. Which could be any day up. now. But it's not going to happen yet. Yeah. Um, those are my living set cards. Let's check something else out. This guy, I think I know what this is. We talked about this on maybe one or two talk scrooms ago. Mm -hmm. And he plays soccer for my San Jose Earthquakes. Oh, yes. He did. Uh, let's check this out. So I watched this, my first I, MLS game this week. I think is oh, What's that? I watched my first MLS game of the week this week. I year. thought you said you were going to go. I was like, I want to go. No, no, I am dying to go. I, I will go soon. Tops does a really good job of putting these in here where you can't get them out. It's uh, funny that they call it Tops now, but it's like Tops 30 seconds later because when you get the <laughs> thing open finally. Oh, actually, this That's is this is not what I thought. It, it is soccer, but look what it is. Yes. So this Dude. is my team. This is my Champions League team. Uh, Jude Bellingham, the youngest English scorer Yeah. for Borussia really Dortmund. Your, your Bundesliga team who also play in the Champions League. So I know, like that's spoken like a guy who follows baseball and I call them my <laughs> champions, but they were my Champions starting. League team. I mean, I am yes. being uh, <laughs> truthful. I thought this was my Cade Cowell earthquake. So I got lots of soccer in my life, Joe. I don't know what to tell I you. I love that you're, I mean, I'm so happy you're diving into soccer. Nick, you're next. Yes. I might have. I'm giving up on Dallas. I might I have the put indoor that game. in my cart. I love the indoor game. <laughs> I might have put that in my cart to get free shipping for something else from Tops. Um, one more, one more mail day. Any true San Diegan purely loves the indoor soccer game. Yep. Because of the soccer's <laughs> dominance in the eighties. So this we, is we won again this year, our fifteenth title. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't order all of these, but this one I really like. Joe, check this out. Oh yeah. There he is. This oh, one nice. I thought was really cool. Like I said, um, who's the artist on this one? So this is Tyson Beck. Beautiful. I know he did a lot of the Project 2020 cards from last year. Oh, I love the Soto in the uh, Tops font at the top. Yeah, yeah. The top left. <laughs> As someone who's ripped off the Tops font, I appreciate that. <laughs> it's well done. So those were my mail day cards. Um, and speaking of Project 70, Joe, I think that it's time yes. to play <laughs> America's favorite game. So I'm not going to put that one up, obviously. <laughs> because I'd be giving it away that that's not we've, it. We've but yet to win this game. I feel like you could do it. Tonight could be the night. So if you don't know, uh, Project 70, what I just showed you, that's a, a thing Tops is doing where they take artists. They'll take, 
you know, different baseball players, maybe some iconic cards and do their own artistic spin on it. I said, you know what, I could do one of those. So I do a game with these guys where I show them six cards. One of them I've made up and they have to figure out which one it is. Joe, are you ready to play? I'm ready. Nick, are you ready to play? I'm always ready for this. Both times I've played, I felt like a fool coming out of it, so. Let's make it three. Here we go. Babe Ruth. Deion Sanders. Honus Wagner. <laughs> Bo Bichette. Johnny Bench. Mike Piazza. <laughs> <laughs> Those are your six Project 70 or no, Project 70 cards. Joe, that. Nick, which one did I make up? Um, I think, I think uh, Babe Ruth. I'm going to go, because I want you to have done this, I'm going to go Honus Wagner on this. I think Honus Wagner is... No, of course. Uh, <laughs> three for three. Pops, <laughs> I know you're watching. I deserve my own card at this point. If I, if I can do this, incredible. I deserve my own card. I want to show you um, that that Honus Wagner one's amazing. I didn't do that. I wish, wait, by the way, where is it? I bought it. I can't find it now, of course. Um, that card is insane. I love it. Yeah. Um, I like also the Mike Piazza Seinfeld one. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> well, that was uh, Project 70 and Object 70, and I'm undefeated. We're just going to keep going because I like winning things. I'm going to start cheating. Um, yeah. So, Joe and Nick, I want to bring up that um, the San Francisco Giants are not only leading the NL West right now, they have the best record in Major League Baseball. I don't have any cards to go with that. I just wanted to tell everyone <laughs> that. And I also want to remind you that right now, while we're watching this, Gabe Kapler is doing abs, okay? He, the <laughs> only thing he hates more than body fat is losing games he's supposed to lose. I just want you to know that, okay? Go Giants. Um, <laughs> let's open some junk wax, Joe. I have with me half right here back, a pack Sean. of 86. Half Not even a half a game back anymore. Um, we have opened 87, we've opened 89. This is the set they're doing in this year's 2021 where they're doing the throwback cards. So I figured we'd open this up. Nick, what do you say? Let's do it. Eat the gum. We're still not at a thousand subscribers yet, so I'm not gonna eat the gum tonight. The gum. The but I already see Steve Balboni, safe. and we've hit a Steve Balboni out of two out of three packs, I think, though. So that's nice. Uh, there yeah. is the gum. Uh, if you want, you can send me your address. I'll send this. We should give that to the fantasy baseball. <laughs> which gum is to you. Baseball yeah, that hasn't <laughs> come out yet. Make sure you watch this weekend. We are doing. We invented fantasy baseball cards. You can watch and win uh, a Bowman Blaster if you beat us at fantasy baseball cards. The game that buddy we just made up. Buddy Bian Kalana. We're we're off to a good start here. We got a buddy Bian Kalana. Bian Kalana. That bat looks huge in his That's tiny amazing. buddy hands. It's a great card. Like, I love what his name coming over the side of his jersey, too. Donald Baseball. Yeah, there Look at that chin. These are all over the place. Yeah. Uh, Tony Perez, record breaker, 85. Mm -hmm. Oldest player to hit a Grand Slam. How old was he, Joe? 73. Uh, he's 42. Sorry, oh, 42. Uh, that would have been my guess, probably. If I really Don guess. Sutton. Don, how old is Don Sutton? This photo. <laughs> In that photo? 65. Oh my god. He was always 53 years he old. He was born in 45, <laughs> so he was 40. Wow, he looks he looks like 60. Old guys looked older back then, I think. Uh and and Rasmussen's looked way more Rasmussen. -y. Look at this yes. guy. Yeah. He looks like he's at his bar mitzvah. All right, let's get through these. Glenn oh Glenn Nelson never gets the respect, even though he had that the best mustache in baseball. Gee. Get that great. Like, is that a warm-up jersey, or was that actually the and those socks? those hats, too. Those yeah. hats no, they used to too. wear that, yeah. That's amazing. Dwight Gooden. Look at this king. Love that. <laughs> uh, Spring Fever Baseball. No one won these trips. They didn't give these out to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> Don Carmen. Look at this awesome Cardinals leader. These are beautiful. Looks like he's in heaven. Those, yeah. So good. That's cool. Uh, Dave Lopes. Dave Lopes. That's yeah. awesome. Look at that. That's Cleaning his glasses, car. I think. He looks Bad. like Hall and Oates. <laughs> they got the wrong picture. We got Marvell Wynn. Mike Boddicker, of course. Yes. 
Uh, Dave Bergman, looking great. Rangers leaders. Bring back the leaders. Is that the like Nolan that. Express right there? The Ryan Express? What are they calling? Nolan Ryan. Is that Nolan uh, Ryan? No, that would have been uh, Charlie, Charlie Huff. Huff. Ooh. Charlie Huff? Steve yeah. Balboni. Balboni. We've hit a lot of Balboni, and I'm not mad at it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Just wallpaper awesome. in your son's room and Balboni cards. I might. My son loves Steve Balboni. Hey, Joe, do you know who leads the league in RBIs right now? Currently, at this moment? Yes. Is it a giant? This guy. Yes. So, very quietly, Raphael Devers has been one of the best hitters in, in baseball. He's only got about like a 270 average, but I think it's his, his expected is almost closer to 300. He has 34 RBIs as of last night. He's killing it. I don't have a uh, you know a Devers rookie card, so let's open up this pack of 2018 Series One. See if we can find it. You know who else is in here, Joe? Who? Clint Frazier. This is your Ooh, jam right here. I love Clint Frazier. 2018 Series One has all of your favorite guys. I wish Clint Frazier hadn't ended up on the Yankees. I feel like he'd be an everyday player if he wasn't a Yankee. He might not be a Yankee. You never know. The Yankees That's like true. to trade guys. They do. Zach Cozart, Luis Perdomo. Yeah, interesting design. I'm not sure I've seen these before. 2018 is, um, this is like Acuna's year, Soto's year. So we haven't opened a ton of this. We do have a Greg Allen rookie card. That's a pretty good card. I'm Ed Rosario. Mm -hmm. uh, Altuve insert. That is, oh, it's Jackie Robinson Day. I was trying to figure out what the insert was. That's cool. Chris Bryant highlights. Uh, Yohan Makata, opening day. Oh, cool card. J.P. Crawford, rookie card. We've got a Marcelo Zuna, making a good catch there, and a Carlos Correa, so no Devers card. It's all right. But we'll be back to 2018 Series 1. There's more guys in there that I'd like to find. Moving on. Um, Joe? Yeah? Whenever sports cards are in the news, it's one of two things. Uh, some cards sold for five million dollars, or someone pulled a gun on someone in a Target parking lot. Sports cards are in the news right now, Joe. Which one do you think it is? I know this is Target parking lot. Yes. So, um, oh, <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Um, Target has stopped selling cards. This is a big deal because a lot of people, most people, got their cards from Target forever, um, and. This article, at first people were like, I can't believe the guy pulled the gun. When you actually read the article, you find out four guys jumped one guy who had cards, and he had a license to carry, and he had a gun, and those four guys, you know, I, look, I, I'm not condoning gun <laughs> violence, but if four guys jumped me, and I was a gun guy, and I had, a, you know, permission yeah. to carry, it might happen. Um, <laughs> cards yeah. have gotten crazy. I don't know if you remember last year when people couldn't get eggs, but it's like if you could have sold eggs on eBay in like April of 2020, that's kind of what cards have become these days. So I understand Target shutting it down for the safety of their employees and for people shopping. It is sad, Joe, because they had finally changed the policy the last two weeks where you could actually just go and buy one box. And I was able to go and I bought one box. I you bought one to, box. You, you'd have to buy more than, oh, they limited you to one box. Because it so, was free reign. Yeah. You, you, someone yeah, could yeah. go and buy every single card and no one would say anything. So finally they're like, okay, we're going to change our policy. So you go, you get one box. I got one box. I went the next week. I got one box. And then someone pulled the gun and it's all over. <laughs> so we're going to open up something from both boxes that I got. I have uh, a pack of Diamond Kings. Uh -huh. So that's oh, Panini. Yeah. Uh, there we go. And I actually got football one week, Joe. Ooh. Aaron Rodgers. Oh. Select. All right. I haven't been able to buy football for the whole year. That's done now. It's all over. I'm not condoning pulling a gun on someone. I'm just saying. Just saying. If you have to defend your cards, you defend your cards by any means necessary. Let's see what's in here that was so important that someone had to try to jump a guy. Um, <laughs> like this Ian Anderson card where oh, he yeah. doesn't have Give a logo that. on his hat. Give me that Ian Anderson. I got to have it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at least with eggs you can eat, right? Uh, I do like these cards, though. Joey Votto. This is... Oh, did we get something? We got something. We got like a relic. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was worth pulling a gun on that guy. Okay, yeah. Vladimir Guerrero. Legacy lithographs. Ooh. Brady Singer. 
Actually, mm. I saw the name of this guy, and I don't know who he is, so let's check it out. It is... Wow, we did hit an auto. Raphael Mar oh. Marchan? Marcan? Uh, catcher for the Phillies, who I... Uh, he's a catcher for Philadelphia, then I'm the license to say Phillies here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so funny. What? Um, well, yeah, because this is Panini, Nick, so, like, they can't oh, put oh, the okay. logos. This is early, early, uh... So, Brady Nintendo Singer of the Blue Hats. Got it. Uh, remember when Vlad Vladimir was on the, uh, Blue Helmets? Is that Brady Singer a bad cut? There's, like, a lot of extra space there above Yeah, that. yeah people so talk about the design. Yeah, that's... that's um, okay, well, cool, we got an auto... Relic of a guy I don't know, but that doesn't mean that he's not somebody who's going to be awesome someday. But it, again, it's it's Diamond Kings. Joe, you're really opening these to try to luck out and try to find one of those downtown cards. You remember I showed you? Yeah, yeah, those are, those are in there, but it's like, you know, one in a million packs. Football. We rarely open football because I can never find it. I found it. Uh, let's see if we can get a Justin Herbert. We're Chargers fans here on the show. Sort of. Recovering. No. No comment. <laughs> no comment from Nick. So we've got Dwayne Haskins. Oh, well, those are kind of neat. And these are pretty cool. So we did have a charger. It's Jason Moore. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is either. Uh, Tom Brady, Hot Stars. I know who that is. That's good. Anytime you hit a Brady, I think that's, <laughs> that's nice. Um, and a Cesar Ruiz rookie card. So let's check out this Hot Stars Brady. I think this is the card of the pack. Again, though, I, I don't know if I would jump someone in the parking lot, especially a guy who has a license to carry a firearm. Anyway, eggs. Yeah. Eggs on eBay, cool. Joe. I love it. I would. I feel like maybe the place to jump people in the target parking lot is where they don't have permits to carry. You know? like, I think maybe it's safer in California. I, I, you know, I don't know. It was nice. I got my two boxes. Those were them. I hope they had fun. <laughs> that was your time. Our last pack tonight, um, one of the most exciting things that's happened in baseball the last couple of weeks is that this guy finally came up. People have been waiting for Jared Kellenick for a while. Jared Kellenick, the walking uh, Mets fan's nightmare because they traded him <laughs> for a uh, closer. Hey, um, he didn't have a great opening night, but the second day, I think he hit two doubles, hit a home run. Um, the excitement for Jared Kellenick, I thought, was well summed up in the headline of this article where it says Jared Kellenick hits leadoff, is unable to also bat in the 6th, 7th, 8th, and ninth <laughs> spots in the lineup, the Mariners lose. Um, he has not obviously had a rookie card yet. He might be an update this year. But I do, Joe, there's my elbow, America, have this pack of 2018 draft that he yeah. could be in. Um, I believe it's Jared Kelnick. I think there's not a third syllable when you're pronouncing Kelnick? It. Yes, I believe that. What was I first. saying? Kelnick? Jareed. Jareed Kelnick. Jareed Kelnick. I got it. Jared Kelnick, though, unfortunately, last night was no hit by uh, human flamethrower Spencer Turnbull. Joe. And with another no hitter tonight, there, it is an insane run of no hitters. Can I, was before there we another do this, one? can I Kluber do this? through one tonight. Before we, before we get to this last patent, by the way, thank you for watching it. I appreciate you guys being here, Joe and Nick, and I'm not trying to, not trying to be mean. Does this, at all, this is at all dampen the joy brought to you by Jabba not, Joe throwing that no-hitter for the podcast. Not one bit, not one bit. Especially yeah. having watched it, he was on fire. Legit no-hitter all the way through. Yeah. Let's, on let's fire. Let's so yeah. starting off, starting off hot, we got a Jordan Adams first Bowman paper. Very nice. Ooh. I like that. Uh, Jesus Sanchez, Trevor Stefan. So this is 2018. Uh, I know Alec Bohm is in this. Matt Mercer. Some of these guys, though, obviously still not up yet. But Jonathan India oh, three, playing yeah, baseball yeah. this year. Alex McKenna, first. Uh, Drevian Williams Nelson for the Angels first Bowman. Braden Fisher. Uh, Sean Gilby. Nick, give me the scouting report on Sean Gilby. Um, I haven't really heard that much about him. <laughs> See when he was drafted. This is back when the draft was like 40 rounds. Round yeah. 12. All right, I Sean Gilby. Big... Don't sleep. Chris Bubick now pitching for the Royals. Very nice. Mitchell White. Nick Schnell. Great name. Mm -hmm. We got some chrome here. So we got Bryce Terang first. That's not bad. 
when he was drafted. He was a, he was a uh, 21st overall for the Brewers. I like that. We got Andreas Jimenez. Tyler Frank, first Bowman. Uh, Yusniel Diaz. Will Banfield. We've got a few more Chrome. Let's see if we can hit that. Kelnick. 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 There you go. Uh, Blake Rivera, Rivera. I don't know who he is, and I'm a Giants fan. What's backwards? Got this insert of Anthony Siegler and Noah Naylor. A Jonathan India, Ooh, Chrome. Two of those. Our last Chrome is Cole Cottom. All right. So no Chrome, but let's see if we can still maybe hit a first. Brendan Davis. Brendan Davis. All right. Uh, Paven Smith, Jake Wong, Josh Naylor. Josh Naylor, big guy. Big boy, yeah. yeah. Ford Proctor, just a fantastic name. Uh, Luis Medina, Matt Veerling, first Bowman. Lenny Torres, Ryan Mountcastle. Yeah. Josh Bro. <laughs> That's great. great. And Josh Cal Mitchell. Bro. So we struck out on Kelnick, uh, just like Kelnick struck out a couple times over the weekend. But very excited. I think a lot of people in the hobby just want a rookie this year to be awesome. So maybe it's going to be him. Um, and we'll look forward to a card for his, maybe in Series 2, probably an update. Yeah. Those were our packs tonight, Joe. Nick, what'd you think? What was your favorite one? I mean... All right, not everyone was, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, <laughs> 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 the 2018 one? Yeah, the 2018 was fun. We yeah. have more of that. It would be fun to find that that Devers card. He's, he's so good. Dude, he's awesome. Yeah, this I think year. he had yeah. a down year, year last year, Joe, but the year before, and he had yeah. like 120 RBIs. He's, he's really good. He's a good player. Yeah. Exciting to watch. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like, subscribe. Like I said, this weekend we're going to post a video called Fantasy Baseball Cards uh, where we've invented this game where you can play fantasy baseball with some packs that we open. You can win cards. You don't have to do anything other than watch it. Leave a comment, and that's it. It's going to be awesome. For this video, though, we're done. we got no more cards. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, for Dallas, who's not here. For Nick, for Joe, I'm Sean. Thank you for watching Talks Chrome. We'll see you next week. Love Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>